Morning guys, morning YouTube people, world, wherever, whoever. Um, all right, my off days. Uh, what I'm gonna start with? Um, the wife and me are heading somewhere to go pick up a dog. New addition to the family. Um, we're not gonna go pick it up per se, but we're gonna go pay for the dog. And then once it once it's of age and once it's everything, um, I guess vaccinated or whatever, they're gonna mail or ship, I guess, the dog out to us. <clears throat> or maybe deliver the dog to us. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, this morning what I'm doing, uh, the first gen kid's truck. It's got a 93 Dodge Ram D, as in dog. Dog. D2500, or sorry, D250. <laughs> um, anyway, um, yeah, so... Uh, he was working on the truck, messing with his throttle position sensor. He got some stuff figured out. And uh, we decided we're going to do some little upgrading. And uh, got two two upgrades we're going to be doing to his truck on my off days. <clears throat> so, first upgrade. And uh, I'll link the parts. I bought all these parts off of eBay. Um, they're all brand new. But I'll link them in the description below, possibly. If not, I'll give you the part numbers, or at least three quarters of the part numbers. Um, meaning, I have four different orders, and I don't know where the part number is for the <clears throat> for the fourth one. So I'll give you for sure on the video three of the part numbers, and I'll give you the part numbers on the video. If you're too lazy to do the work yourself and go online, um, you can message me, I guess, and I'll post a link or I'll comment a link um, because I'm lazy enough that I don't want to give you guys the reason to be lazy so you guys can do your own research, but I'll give you the part numbers on the video. So, all right, what we're doing is... Uh, Basically, we're doing a second gen fuel pump or lift pump, I should say, swap. So, first thing you need to order is a spacer. This is the one I don't have the part number to. I don't know where it's at. I just checked all the packages. I probably threw it away. <clears throat> so, here you go spacer, gaskets banjo bolt gaskets blah 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 studs it's a whole kit some people will sell just the spacer and gaskets and then you'll have to buy the studs and nuts i bought this whole kit i believe it was 12 or 13 bucks and it is local in southern california so i got it in like two days so i don't know i can post a link of where i bought it on ebay but you can just do spacer, 12 valve Cummins, lift pump spacer on eBay, and I'm pretty sure this will pop up. So don't be lazy, do your own work. So we got this here, this also on eBay. Part number, it's right there. You push the little square button. It's called a pause button, or you got two rectangles, it's a pause button. Um, and you pause it, and then you Google this part number, or you go on eBay, and you Google that, put that in the search. Don't be lazy. Don't be messaging me, saying, oh, give me a link, because I'm lazy. Anyway, that's the number for the fuel, the lift pump. Lift pump, supposedly it's Cummins, Chinese Cummins. It says Cummins all over it. It's Cummins. Right there, made in the good old china. So, it comes with this, the lift pump. It comes with the line, fuel line, and gaskets. Two gaskets. 
you know, because it's for, it's for a second gen. So the second gen already has the spacer. So if you're doing this the first gen, first gen doesn't have the spacer. So that's why you gotta buy this spacer. So buy this for second gen, it's coming with this because it's these gaskets are gonna sandwich between the block, the spacer, and the lift pump. Okay? All right, cool. Got it? Cool. Good job. All right, next parts are these. This is, um, what do we got? Half inch male by quarter and quarter inch female. So half inch male, NPT threads, quarter, quarter inch female NPT threads. You only need one of these. I seem to have been used, I've used like three or four of these, like for the air compressor, for other things. So I bought a pack of five for $10.90. So, so part number, bought it on eBay. Okay, item number BFCC-106, five pack. All you have to do on eBay is type in NPT, but you don't need all this, NPT one half inch male, one quarter inch female. That's all you need. Half inch male, quarter inch female, NPT. National Pipe Thread, I believe is what it stands for. Okay? $10 for five. I think it was like $4.50 for one. So I bought five. All right. Don't be lazy. Do your work. All right, here you go. This, this, this I had to do my homework on because the, the video I watched, he just gave the size and the diameter and whatever. He gave me information, and I, me, the guy behind the camera, did some research, found out that Granger sells this part. So, this is a Granger part number, product number, right there. Push those two rectangles, pause the video. <clears throat> G3324288. Okay, I don't know what that is, stock number, blah, blah, blah. They're a compression spring, compression, you know, they compress as opposed to retracting like a pole spring where you want to attach it and have something pull back together. So compression spring, it is music wire. This was a 10 pack. All I could find was a 10 pack and I believe the price was like 12 bucks, 13 bucks. Okay. So I guess there's all the information you might need. Maybe type this in to eBay, 54NL53. Can't remember the diameter, but it's, these are two inches long. I believe two inches long. Point, point nine five inches you know width which is turns out to be like 15 sixteenths I believe 13 sixteenths 15 sixteenths diameter and then the spring wire itself was point zero eight five diameter point zero eight five so the thickness of the spring point zero eight five let me write this let me write this for the for the people that hold on, I'm fucking putting my phone. Just had a marker here. Here it, is. here it is. Let me write it down so you guys can pause the video. Dang it, this thing's slippery. Heck. Pause the video, right? So you're gonna look at a point nine five. That's the round, right? Right? You got the round. Okay. 2.0 inches. That's from end to end. Spring, right? 
and then the diameter right there is 0 0.085. This is inches. And this is inches. Okay. So from here to here, 0.95 inches, almost an inch, but it's not an inch. Okay. From here to here, it's two inches long. This little piece right here, the actual wire, 0 0.085 inches. So, all right, now that we got all that figured out. So, you take one of these springs, <clears throat> you take this off here, you take this off, and there's a spring in there. So let me do that real quick, and uh, I'll be back. I'm gonna push the square button on my phone, which is stop, and then I'll come back and push the round record button. I'll be back. All right, push the round button. So I took this to the vise, you know, vise, our vise clamps, you know, comes together like this. So I put it in the vise and put the jaws like this with a couple rags so I wouldn't damage it. Took a one and a sixteenth inch, or sorry, one and an eighth inch wrench, <clears throat> which was a little, little too big, and one and a sixteenth inch was a little too small. So I'm sure it's metric. So it's probably because my twenty six inch wouldn't work. In fact, let's see what size it is, because I know you guys are all gonna ask what size was it. A27 doesn't work. So we gotta go bigger, right? All right, guys. What size is this? This is a 30. Let's see. Too big. This is a 29. Little, little, little too big. Oh, and I don't have a 28 millimeter. So there you go. 28 millimeter. <clears throat> that's one and an eighth one and a sixteenth is too small so if you have a 28 millimeter maybe I do have a 20 no that's a 30 what's that that's a 32 okay 28 millimeter 28 millimeter it is or you can use a 29 millimeter it's 29 Flarber Flate. Okay. All right. 28 millimeter it is, though. All right, so here's the spring that you're taking out. This is a really stiff, heavy, heavy-duty spring because I believe the PSI for the 12-valve is about 18 to 20. This is a little lighter. The, or did I say 24-valve? I mean 12-valve, the second gen. Um... And you don't want that much pressure on the first gen. So you take this, obviously put the spring in there. Spring is gonna go in there. A little piston in there. I'm not taking it out. Just trust me, there's a piston in there. So if more parts than the spring come out, then that's your piston. So Take this back over to the vise, tighten it, okay, we'll tighten that, right, and let's see, okay, that looks like it'll work, let me open this real quick, grab one of these out, obviously, you're going to take some Teflon tape. If you don't know what Teflon tape is, stop watching and go ask your mom or your girlfriend because she might know what Teflon tape is. And if that's the case, go cut your wee wee off. Um, yeah, so put some Teflon tape in here and then put some Teflon tape. Actually, yeah, you're going to want to put Teflon tape on this end. 
because you're going into MPT threads right there. MPT is a pipe thread, so it tapers. So even though this is a compression, I would still recommend putting uh, some tape on this, on these threads on this line, just due to the fact that the fitting you're going into is not is whatever whatever I'm trying to say is not a compression fitting so with all that said that's it and uh, when the kid gets home maybe we'll swap it over or uh, probably wait till this weekend but I guess he could probably use my truck so spring fitting pump adapter plate spacer plate line all that all right, if you want to buy one of these from me, I'll be more than happy to list them because this is probably the only one I'm going to do. Um, and I might keep one. So there's probably going to be eight for sale. If you want to buy one, let me know, text me or uh, message me, whatever it's called. Or leave a comment. You want to buy one, um, message me. You can go on Instagram, halffast719, same name and uh message me i'll have eight left or i have eight left because i'll keep one so i'll be using two out of ten ten minus two equals eight okay all right good job all right guys uh next video will be installing these uh installing this on the truck and uh i got one more upgrade that i'm gonna do but i'm not gonna show you guys what it is until i take it off the truck and then rebuild the whole process might not show it rebuild the whole process but i'll show you guys in another video all right guys thanks for watching sorry for the sarcasm but i can't stand lazy people and people are lazy and yeah do your homework see you guys in the next video later all right quick little correction because i'm dumb sometimes that does not get the uh, teflon tape don't put teflon tape on there because that actually goes into here so this is gonna go here somewhere like this so this is the block of the engine this way <clears throat> This is gonna go, I believe, like this. Pretty sure it's gonna go like that. And then that's gonna go to the VP pump or the VE pump. See, I'm all messed up in the head too. So I put Teflon threads on here or Teflon tape, this tape. So if you're gonna tighten it, run it or run it opposite so basically hold the tape hold the tape and wrap it the direction like as if you're threading it onto the tape so this way when you're threading it it tightens the tape because if you thread it with the tightening as you tighten it it's gonna unravel itself if that makes sense if it doesn't make sense you'll figure it out so yeah so anyway, got that tight. This is tight. Springs installed. That's tight into here. Everything is ready to go. So now we just need the truck. The truck and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So just wanted to let you guys know that this line does not go in there. So don't put Teflon tape on there. Okay, bye.